You recognize that lovely background? Still at work, still bored. It's actually right after I made the first portion of the Q&A video. So we'll just call this Q&A part two. Um, I'm gonna cover traffic tickets. My buddy Rob Sherrill, I've worked a couple jobs with over the years, has always been very entertained by my driving record because the day I got my driver's license, I got three tickets. None of them were for actually driving bad. I wasn't one of those, I wasn't poor. So let's, let's clear that up before anybody feels attacked because I know my mom's gonna watch this. We just didn't, we didn't have everything, that's all. You know, I wasn't one of the kids who had the newest, latest and greatest lease at the high school parking lot. So I saved up a little bit of money. I worked at this local Chinese restaurant. I made like five twenty-five an hour. You know, talking about 17, maybe 18 years ago. So I saved up 400 bucks. I bought a 1991 stick shift Ford Ranger. The day, I drove it around for about a month before I got my license. To and from school, going to pick up buddies, going parking lot pimping, drinking beers and shit, being an idiot. The day I got my license, the muffler fell off. And I just picked up my buddy after leaving Secretary of State with my mom. He didn't have his seatbelt on. So they gave me a ticket for him because he's a minor. They gave me a ticket for the muffler and I had a cracked windshield. It's a $400 car. And at the time it was already like 15 years old. I'm just guessing around math right now. It's a 91, so 14 years old. I don't know, it's an old piece of shit. It's $400. You used to be able to buy a car that ran for $400. Good luck now. Um, so I got three tickets and I didn't have the money to get the windshield fixed or the muffler and or pay the seatbelt ticket. I mean, I probably could have, but I just didn't. I was 15, 16 and I didn't care. So I didn't fix any of it. I didn't pay the tickets. License already got suspended a month into having it. <laughs> so for about the first 10 years I had my license, it was suspended more than it wasn't. And things just continued from then on. I did not live right by any means. You know, I was always partying, doing the wrong things, driving like an idiot. I think I'm actually literally on ticket number 36 total. I don't recall all of them, obviously. One of them, I got a driving on suspended in my car, but my buddy was driving. That's how much the local police really did not like Bionic Bro back in the day because of my lifestyle. In all fairness, you know, we lived in a nice community and I was bringing it down single-handedly. I was doing some damage. I'm not proud of any of it. I'm not crying wolf, not being a victim. It's just the reality. You know, they were doing their job and it is what it is. Um, I also got some driving on restricteds when I was in high school because my driving record, like at some points, I wasn't supposed to have passengers in the car under the age of 18 and only drive if I was going to school or work. I got pulled over with my 1999 Escort with four passengers and four-fifths of black velvet whiskey in the trunk. Cops didn't appreciate that. My dad didn't appreciate that. But he said the whiskey was his, so I didn't have to get an MIP for that, so that's cool. Um, my car accident last year, police felt so bad for me, they only gave me a careless driving ticket. I'm not going to get into all the details of that right now. There's still a lot going on with all that, so... Um, I got another careless driving ticket when I was about 17 doing donuts in the high school parking lot. I went to Asher Adult Education. That's, you know, one of those high schools for assholes. So they should just call it Asshole Adult Education. Um, but I am grateful for it because if it wasn't for that high school, I never would have finished. And I still finished a year late. Super seniors, what's up? I got another careless driving ticket either a week before or a week after that particular donut one. Um, wasn't actually my fault. I was in that same 99 Escort. I was doing reverse donuts, by the way, because it's front wheel drive. You can't do donuts in front wheel drive. It just doesn't work. The wheel back wheels don't spin, so you have to go backwards. I was pulling out of a pool hall, and I got pulled over in Lincoln Park, Michigan, by a state police officer who said I was fish tailing. And I even recall telling him, like, officer, I have front wheel drive. Like, I can't, and it's not winter. I can't fish tail. And he basically told me, I'm not an idiot. I saw what I saw. Here's your ticket. You know, go fuck yourself. So, here's another one. Um, I, so many speeding tickets. Just 
flying everywhere. You know, when I go up north, it's like a, it's, it has always been a race to see how fast I can get to my cabin. Most people, it takes three and a half to four hours. One time when I was 17 in that 99 Escort, bald tires, I made it in two hours and 50 minutes. And that's not a lie. You can ask everybody who was there. Um, I went about 110, 115 miles an hour in that Escort the entire way, even on the two-lane highways, in the dark, like an idiot. I was an idiot, period. Um, I got tickets for speakers. You know, I used to landscape for the city of River Rouge, which is basically an extension of southwest Detroit. And I used my own truck. And just towed their equipment with it so i had two 15s in the back seat of a 1994 f-150 i was just driving around the hood in the hood banging my tunes and the police didn't like it it was nine in the morning but you know shouldn't have did it but i was a kid and i was doing it and i figured everybody out here has speakers and rims what the fuck but it didn't work so there's another one um, I've fallen asleep driving probably a hundred times, uh, three of which have resulted in accidents. Once driving home from work, when I first started working construction, 16-ish summers ago, I fell asleep driving home after working like 20-something night shifts in a row, 12 hours. Uh, woke up to a construction barrel flying over the hood of my car fell asleep in a Ford Fiesta one time on the freeway and smashed into the back of another car and I woke up coasting to a stop all the fluids pouring out headlights hanging out like eyeballs thought the car was totaled but the insurance fixed it I don't know why it's a Fiesta um fell asleep driving to work two years ago going I live down river Michigan so for those of you who aren't local, that means you're about 15 minutes south of Detroit. It's all the communities that follow the Detroit River, down river. And I was driving to Ann Arbor, which is about a 45 minute ride. I fell asleep and hit a construction sign. You know, it's got the two metal things and the big orange top. Boom. So messed up a uh, Chevy Malibu. And man, there's just too many to list. Since though, the 24th of this month will actually be two entire months of me driving like a civilized human being. I haven't been speeding, I haven't been bobbing and weaving, I haven't been uh, road raging, I haven't been motherfucking nobody. Um, because it, it obviously wasn't working. 36 tickets and 30 of them have been actual violations and we'll say six are speakers and field equipment. Um, I'm only, I'm 32, I'm not a little kid. But I'm not an old guy, so I'm still learning. And the pain finally got great enough. You know, I'm paying $400 a month damn near for uh, to insure a 1995 GMC Yukon. So, sometimes pain is the only motivating factor to change your lifestyle in a particular way. Um, I did crash a Grand Marquis into a light pole one time. I was doing burnouts in a parking lot and I looked down to see what my speedometer said my tires were going. I don't know why that matters. The car's not moving and while doing so, my foot slipped off the brake and I just catapulted into a light pole. Probably only going a total of 10 or 15 miles an hour, but you know, the ramming force was good enough that neither one of the doors would open. So me and my passenger had to crawl out of the windows. My mom wasn't happy about that. She just paid to get my brake, brakes fixed. I got it back like the day before that. Um, I'm actually on my 21st vehicle. I've had, I'm on my sixth motorcycle, I believe. Honda Shadow, Harley Dyna, Harley Street Glide, Harley Ultra, Victory, eight ball. And now I'm on a Harley Electric Glide. So yeah, wow six motorcycles i've had probably almost 10 different four-wheelers and dirt bikes over the years uh, most of the, the cars you know being on number 21 99 percent of them were beaters you know i had no intentions of making them forever cars they were not financed they were not leased it was like a 500 to a thousand dollars sometimes even a free car that a family member gave me they didn't want anymore 
So no, when the motor blew up in a free car or a $300 car, I was not gonna spend one to $3,000 getting a new motor. Just go buy another one for 500 bucks. Um, and I beat the hell out of it. So the rest of it probably would have fucking broke had I fixed what did break. Um, but yeah, I'm working on that too. I'm, I'm, I'm repairing my vehicles now, you know? I'm kind of a late bloomer when it comes to doing things correctly and maturely, but I'm really working on that, trying to make my life smoother. You know, that's part of being, part of convenience and balance, doing things right. There you go again, Mike. I'm just sick of dumb shit, you know? So with that, I'll end this video about traffic tickets. Bionic, grow out. Peace.